hello everyone welcome and welcome back i hope you are doing well in today's video we are making a very simple and delicious pepper fish this can be done in 30 minutes easy weeknight meal let's dive right in I have my fish nicely cleaned and cut over here. I'm using mullet fish, which is very nice and tasty, and you want to pat dry it so it's nice and dry. And for my seasonings, I'm using some black pepper, a teaspoon of parsley flakes, a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, a tablespoon of paprika powder, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. Add a little bit of salt to taste then I'll go in with some olive oil I'm going to air fry this okay so it stays nice and moist mix everything together until the seasonings are well incorporated onto the fish I'll cover this and set it aside to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes whilst I go ahead and process the rest of the ingredients so into the bowl I'll add in one small onion and I have here two red bell peppers next i'll go in with um, some jalapeno pepper add as much as you can tolerate and i'm going to process this in two batches okay so i'll blitz this i want a rough texture you can do as you please if you want a smooth texture and i'll uh, pour that into a bowl and i'll add in two tomatoes i have a little bit of ginger two cloves of garlic a stem of basil and i'll add in a sprig of rosemary you may also use the dry process this and set it aside our fish is now ready to go so i'll transfer it into the air fryer you can also bake this in the oven or um, you can also fry it as you wish you know whatever you want to do so yeah i'll transfer it into the basket of my air fryer then set it to air fry according to the type of air fryer you are using let's move on to the sauce so to my heated oil i'll add in just a little bit of onion and allow this to fry until golden brown and i'll transfer the uh, the pepper mixture into the into the oil then i'll add in a little bit of chicken seasoning i have here some black pepper and a little bit of turmeric powder i'll leave all the ingredients and the measurements in the comment section so be sure to check it out and i have here about a teaspoon of smoked paprika which will add a little bit of color and i have a teaspoon of garlic powder i'll add some salt to taste as well and a little bit of parsley flakes give everything a stir until nicely incorporated and i felt like i needed a little bit more color so i added about a teaspoon more of the smoked paprika and give this a stir cover and allow the moisture to evaporate for about 20 minutes thereabouts we'll go ahead and check on the sauce and this is how it's looking guys it smells amazing taste for your salt i needed a bit more seasoning so i added a little bit of edible to this now i'll give this a stir and it tasted amazing at this point and at this point it's ready to receive our fish just look at how beautiful the fish looks guys this fish if you've never tried it it tastes amazing very very good so now nestle the fish into your sauce and make sure you spoon the sauce onto the fish so you know the uh, sauce can penetrate and get into the fish and everything smells amazing at this point you can also shake it to incorporate everything together we want to ensure that our fish doesn't break so now cover it and allow this to go for just about five minutes and after five minutes we're going to garnish with some green bell peppers and some onion for some freshness and deliciousness so at this point i'm just going to mix everything together very gently cover this back up and allow this to go for just five minutes and five minutes later we are ready to serve guys just look at that with some nice hot steaming rice and i have some cucumber on the side and guys spoon your sauce on top of it and enjoy very simple 30 minute meal comes together very very easily and guys the taste of this was so amazing so delicious let me know in the comment section what would you be enjoying this with this will pair very well with some fried yam or some soft hot kinky freshly made soft hot kinky 
that is it for today thank you so much for doing this with me and i really hope you give do give this recipe a try and until we meet again stay blessed stay out of trouble and be well bye y'all